Hey guys, so today I just want to make a very quick video over here. We are going to give a head in talk about the Apple iPhone 4S versus the Samsung Galaxy S3. I'm going to go ahead and call this video Samsung Galaxy S3, why Apple iPhone 4S sucks, I think. Just because I made a, a, a kind of similar video called Samsung Galaxy S3, why HTC One X sucks. And that turned out to be a huge success. Mostly in these videos, I don't try that many things with the phones. I usually just talk about my own experience and what I think. And right now, I just want to talk a little bit about the Apple iPhone 4S and the future here. It's because today, Apple's WWDC in San Francisco starts. They're going to go ahead and unveil the new iOS, iOS 6. And there was one thing that I got annoyed by a lot. And that was that they were having kind of a poster saying iOS 6 the most advanced mobile operating system, okay? So, okay, let's just go ahead and talk a little bit about this. There, there are three major things I have a problem with Apple and why I don't think you can call it the most advanced mobile operating system. First of all, uh, is the lockdown experience. I think that a very advanced mobile operating system shouldn't be locked down. I'm not saying anything iOS is easy, easiest, the, the most easiest the UI and operating system to use, but in terms of customizations and all that, it's not the most advanced mobile operating system, okay? If Apple want to say that the most advanced mobile operating system is uh, the one that's easiest, then they are kind of you know, wrong. The most advanced operating system is the operating system that you can customize the most, you can go ahead and tweak it like however you want. You can install other firmwares and stuff like that. You are very limited to do you know things like that on 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 a on a Apple iPhone 4 So the lockdown experience is a very major big thing. Why well, I hate it. Okay, I I, I just hate it. Uh, because like if I'm gonna send over some uh, show TV shows or movies or whatever. Uh, if I want to send over some songs, either have to use like iTunes or like an online service like Spotify. Uh, I can't like just copy and paste it to the root of the phone. Why can't they do that? Uh, let's say I don't want to use shitty iTunes. First of all, shitty iTunes is horrible on the Windows machine, and I have a really good Windows machine, like a quarter core and everything. Sometimes I can feel that it's really you know sluggish and slow. And then you have this problem with formats, different formats that's not working. Uh, so yeah, that's a major thing why I don't think you can call it the most advanced mobile operating system. Sure, it's easy, but it's not the most advanced, okay? The most advanced is probably Android because you can customize it so much, you can have different firmers, you can like tweak it, like however you feel like, you can have widgets. So let's just go ahead and go into the next thing I hate. That is that you can't run widgets, you can't, you cannot like, they copy this thing in iOS 5 from Android that you can like swipe down and then you can have some random widgets like here that you can't like, uh, I think you can remove them in some way but they have hide how you can do that. But you can just have some widgets over here uh, but you're very locked down, you can't have any widgets like this. It's just, just a grid of icons. How can you call this the most advanced mobile operating system? Like even in apps like the camera, you don't have you have, you're very limited to the settings that you have to take pictures and everything compared to any you know, a new Android device at the moment that's out on the market. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the third thing that I get annoyed by so much with Apple devices, even Apple computers, and that is that Adobe Flash is, first of all, Adobe Flash is a big thing in most people's lives because one of the most biggest websites as you are right now. This video is probably being played in Adobe Flash. And it, have you tried Adobe Flash on a, a, first of all, it doesn't work on an iPhone 4S. So usually when you're in the browser, uh, you get redirected to the mobile, ver mobile website of like YouTube and all that pages. And that's cool now if you like that. I like the full experience. So I think that the most mobile advanced uh, operating system should be able to be able to run the full experience of like YouTube with no lag. But when you, usually when you go to full pages on the the iPhone 4S and try to zoom in and out, it lags like shit compared to Android devices. Okay, and how can that be the most advanced mobile operating system? I just don't get it. And this thing with Flash, it's horrible. Okay, it's horrible. The Flash runs so bad. I have a MacBook Pro. 
every time I play some flash video, I have to like use a widget to play the video in HTML5 or something like that. But even with that, the, the fans go up like crazy. Use when I play a new video and I have, a, I have like a $3,500 MacBook Pro. It lags like shit, or it doesn't lag, but uh, the fans go up like crazy. And now I haven't even been starting to talk about gaming, but gaming is also horrible on a Mac machine. The fans go up like crazy. Uh, but you know, of course, gaming is a little bit better on the iPhone 4S over here uh, than it is on uh, Apple computers. Uh, so, okay, so today we're getting the new iOS 6. <coughs> And I saw the thing that got me kind of annoyed uh, that Apple were calling it the most advanced mobile operating system and all that shit. And so they're, they're probably going to unveil iOS 6 today and they're going to say so many good things. As, uh, remember they said that they had like 500 new features in new iOS 5 and it was so revolutionary and all that. But it was really like small little feature that they added up to and then they said it was like 500 new features and it was all magical and all that. If, if Apple... You know, Apple is right now, let's be honest, yeah, they're, they're, they're playing the catch-up game. They're, they're really behind in UI and everything. They've been having like the same boring UI and they made so small changes since uh, like five years ago when they launched the first iPhone. So uh, I just want to see, I just want to show here really quick how, how Apple is going uh, to, how, how Apple is going to, um, unveil the new iOS 5 and let's say this is this is iOS 5 at the moment okay now they're pretty good at marketing okay so they're gonna say like they're gonna come up there on stage and they're gonna say like oh so here is the new here is the new iOS okay here's the new iOS 6 and it's so amazing okay can you see that okay that's the new iOS that's the new iOS 6 can you see how many more new awesome features we have added to the phone? Oh my god, baby. Yeah, baby. Can you see that? Can you see how amazing the new iOS is? Can you see how amazing it is? Oh my god. The new iOS 6 is so amazing. Oh my god. It has so many more features and new features that we've never seen before. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so amazing, oh my god, let's add some more stuff to this, okay, oh my god, I was sick, it's so amazing, oh my god, so many new features, like 10,000 new features, now I do know, we haven't seen it officially, but it's probably going to be something like this, they're going to they're gonna announce so many new features like this. Okay. And then we have some awesome egg here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just gonna end this video right now. Um, this was fun. Yeah. Have a good day, everyone. Bye bye. And then. Um, let's see here. No, wait a sec. We, we, we didn't add some. I forgot to add some more here. It started to smell. It started to smell like iOS. Let's go ahead and add some good stuff like this on the phone. Oh my god, baby. Yeah, baby. Can you smell the new iOS? It's so amazing and revolutionary. Oh yeah. Let's add some more of this. Yeah, baby. This is gonna be how it's gonna be, and then all of the Apple likers is gonna make videos. I'm gonna tell you about the amazing new features in iOS 6. I also may do a video about it if it's... Yeah, it's gonna be revolutionary, of course. Apple has said it's gonna be revolutionary, so sure. It will be revolutionary, people. Okay, clearly as you can see over here, it's gonna be revolutionary. And we're gonna have so much fun with the new iOS. Gonna make so many videos on this. Yeah, baby. 
But I, I don't think I'm gonna use the revolutionary new iOS that much. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to use my my Galaxy phone over here. Because I mean, it works, you know, it's, it's cool, you have widgets, I have awesome things I can do with it, I have my freedom and all that stuff, but uh, yeah, this was just a very, very quick video here to talk a little bit about um, Apple and uh, some things that I hate and some things that I want to get out. I may do more videos on the iPhone 4S versus the Galaxy S3, like do some benchmarking comparisons and uh, speed up tests and internet browser and stuff like that, but uh, we'll see about that. Yeah, you just have an awesome day right now, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.